Me too, Sly. Me too. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Aww. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. Do we have a picture of Carmelita in our hideout? So that's funny. Our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian outback. That's actually one of the more effective disguises we've seen Sly have. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. Is he the telekinetic? If half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. That guy was just speaking gibberish at the beginning. I don't know if I want to meet him. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. No! You know, I wish we could use some of these disguises we see in the cutscenes. Just in-game in general. Or forever. Actually, I wonder if I can use the disguise from the last chapter in this one. Probably not. It wouldn't make much sense. We're not dealing with the... with the Italians. They were the Venetians. Yandumu, Australia. Oh my god, they have kangaroo guards, because of fucking course they do. And helicopters? Wow, these guys are set up. I mean, not that the kangaroo part's setting them up, they just have stuff. New train challenges are available for Murray in the hazard room. Ugh. Fine. This hazard room thing is really a, a flow breaker. I could skip it, but what if it teaches me something very, very important? It would've been nice if they had just done what they did in Sly 2, which is just teach us in the middle of missions, which I feel is a little bit more acceptable. on your power moves. The first one is throwing stuff. Pluck it and chuck it. That's me. To make something up, just get close and hit the circle button. To throw, just face your target and press the square button. Circle, square, ain't hardly fair. Looks like I've got plenty of rocks to throw with. Try breaking all those pillars. Can do. Do I have a limited number of these? <clears throat> I don't think so. Yeah, I figured it was, if it was gonna be infinite, but just in case it wasn't, I also want to find out. Nice job. You can also pick up guards when they're knocked out. Great! I knocked the small guys out with one punch. You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha. Sneak up. Sucker punch! Grab! Throw! Destroy! Kid stuff! Let's see what you got! Destruction! Let's go! I like how they made the flashlight guys always the big guys. Oh, whoops! Uh, sorry about that. I meant to, you know, thrush, just go ahead and throw you to your doom. Farewell! An easy way to knock out guards is to throw something at them. Ah! The old rock to the head routine! Yep. Throw a rock at that guard to knock him out, then pick him up and throw him at that pillar. Can do, little brother. Alright, little guard. Let's have a fair fight! Okay. Grab him while he's out! 
I thought he was gonna see me when I stepped up into his light, and then I realized, oh shit! And then I realized that maybe I don't want him to spot me because he'll maybe end up failing that section anyways. He gets knocked back really fucking far! Well done. Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got a ton of cash in his back pocket! <laughs> Chump! He's just asking! Begging me to rob him! That's right. You may not have the agility or technology to pick his pocket, but you could use your strength to mug him quite thoroughly. Oh yeah! I just knock him flat, then pick him up! Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins he has and collect the goods. Keep at it until he's empty. The Murray will give this high roller a shakedown he'll never forget. Yeah, all right, <clears throat> we got more of these Italian guards captured from the last operation. Give me all your money and loot. That is definitely whoop, Bizarro Land. Okay, Murray, the juggle grab is one of your most powerful moves. You ready? Born ready. When facing off against smaller opponents, you can knock them into the air with your triangle button uppercut and then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Okay, okay. Let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut, then yank them out of the air by pressing the circle button. That right? You got it. For this test, you'll have to pull it off three times and throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight him. Just focus on the technique. Bring All on right. the pain! Can I put them immediately into a pickpocket state? Bam! Bam! I, well, he doesn't have anything for me to pickpocket. All right, you're being thrown away! You came to the wrong part of town! Whoops, sorry. Uh, I, I just really wanted to punch him too. I couldn't shake off that temptation. You came to the right part of town! I'm so used to being able to jump clear past buildings. It's weird to jump such shorter distances, but oh well. Fuck it, I did it again! It's muscle memory, man. I just run up and I triangle square, but I didn't mean to. Sorry, officer, I didn't mean to fucking drop kick that guy in the face, I swear. Bam, triangle square. Triangle circle square. Excellent work. Another handy move is your thunder flop. Oh yeah! Terror from above! Just jump and press the square button to break this ground plate a few times. Ah, you got it, Bentley. When am I gonna use that other ability more? You know, this. We've got some mad hops here! Whoa! Uh, that's not the... That, that, that can't lead into a belly flop. That's disappointing. I need more information about us, though. We're done in here. Head outside and crack some skulls. I wonder what kind of abilities Murray can buy with the money we've been obtaining. Why does the hazard room take us out of the chapter entirely? I guess because you can go to the hazard room any time, but still. It'd be nice to have. All right, what do we have here? Berserker charge, scatter enemies with this powerful run, and then spin attack level two. Maybe it's really good this time around, I don't know. I don't know what to grab. Let's buy spin attack, maybe it'll be good. It's level two. The 
those miners have really tore this place up looking for opals. Watch your step, they're sure to get rough defending their claim. Hold on. Oh, we just straight up upgrade it? Ah, nice. Doesn't seem all that good. All right, very disappointing to find out, but we'll make do. So what do they got? They got dingoes, ah, and kangaroos, and what else? Hyenas. What's that sound? Oh, someone tried dropping a bomb on me. We saw a big, big old crocodile in another location. Oh, I almost made it. Money. You've got it. I've got to have it. Did you just bomb their own guy? That's really risky. Oh, this is a whip! I'll be honest, I looked at this guy and I thought it was a fishing rod or something. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. <laughs> maybe I don't want to meet him, actually. But maybe we'll, we'll be able to have a nice conversation with him. Get away. And find out what really is going on. Maybe he'll approve of Murray's change. Son of a gun. I had to jump on top of the tree. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't double jump. True challenging platformer action in Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. Buy it now on the PlayStation 2. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. <laughs> you know what? We'll, yeah, we'll leave it there. I don't need to know any more information, buddy. The unspeakable is we're leaving that to not even the imagination. I'm bothering with it. Place smells bad. All right, you got it. Oh, Jesus! Ah, the lasers! Ow! That's fair. I'm leaving now. I had some expectations there. They weren't being met. Yay, I love the hooks and falling to my doom when I slightly mess up on them. Oh boy. I have to assume we're gonna shoot that helicopter down at some point. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru is fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way, and they just go crazy and smash everything up, and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. <laughs> it's tough to say, but 
Given the layout of the miners camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. Well, you know what? At the very least, the chopper seems to just be going in a kind of circle-ish or ellipses around the entire place. I'm not worried about it spotting me. Hopefully. But I keep running into these guys. This is really suspicious. Something's got to come out from here. Just like that These mammoth. Miners have no respect for the aboriginal sacred sites. They're drilling into everything. Ayers Rock, Kings Canyon, Wave Rock. The cultural insensitivity is sickening. Yep, they're just in it for the money. Okay. Okay. Can I get back up from here? No. All right. We got to go the long way. Does he have like a little doll or is that- Oh my god! They've actually got a kid in there! They got a little Joey! He's teaching him crime so young and early! He's just like- He's just like Sly's family. Sick dodge, dude. Alright, I'm out. I'm on the- They just jump. They just completely avoid my attack. Fine. I'm outie. Whoa! Bet you can't follow me past these drills. Oh fuck, they can follow me past the drills! It's also so noisy over there. I can't wait to shut down the drills. Well, they're more like saw blades, but it's kind of a drill anyways at the same time. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how you doing, Father? You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. I'm less like can understand him. I love when you have to deal with characters like that. The viewer can't understand him, but it's okay because they're just being translated by everybody else. The guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayers Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased, and the Guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation, because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage for one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the Guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the Mask of Dark Earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. <laughs> we should put on the mask. Nobody will know. And we can gain supernatural powers. Maybe. Outback operation, day one. All right, where are we heading to? We have spelunking with... 
with Murray. And then Dark Caves is, is... I was gonna say Spy, but I meant Sly. Let's go as Murray. I wanna go to the cave. I want him, I want him to meet his master. As soon as possible, possibly. Although I'm annoyed that we have to go such a long way around. We have to go through an entire interior cave just to get up there? Ugh. Couldn't we have just saved the master and brought him over to our hideout? It's not like we're leaving the area. Give me all of your money! And then... Skedaddle! <laughs> nice! A gold pen! I think I'm gonna really like getting, uh... Getting so much money as Murray. Ow. Hey man, look, you either die... Trying to save yourself and keep yourself from being robbed, or... You die after I've robbed you, and we both get what we need. You get out of this lame job. And now I can afford everything I want. Look at the little kid. The little kid's freaking out in there too. Well, you know what? At least the family that crimes together dies together. Uh-oh. Okay, fine. I'll try something else. There we go. I was pressing the wrong button. I kept pressing L2. It's L1. Haha! I didn't need to go that way because there's a tr there's a trampoline down here, but whatever. I know you're a little nervous to see your teacher again, but he's requested that you and I pay him a visit individually. If it wasn't for the guru, I wouldn't be the Murray you see before you today. I'm just not too sure he'll be pleased with my progress as a mystic. What are you talking about? You used the aboriginal ball form to great effect back in Venice. He'll be proud of you. Maybe, but I lost my temper and got in a fight with Octavio. To help me? I'm sure the guru is happy to see friends sticking up for each other. Head into this cave. It'll take you right up to it. Okay, Bentley. Caves ahoy! You know, there are probably plenty of, like, teacher-type figures who still wouldn't have approved of it just because they're sticklers. And at that point, what do you do? Hold on, hold on. There we go. I had to take him out one way or another. But, I'm gonna assume for the sake of this story that, uh... That the teacher isn't gonna be like that. He's totally down and fine with this. Okay, you want the Murray to show you how we really do things down under? Then you've got it. Murray, try throwing rocks to destroy those stalagmites. Of course, uh, throwing guards will work too. Yeah, I was about to say, I could also just, you know, throw the people who are standing right in front of me. I'm sad, I threw one guard, it didn't work out. Maybe kangaroos are just a little bit less dense. Dude, he sounds so creepy. Look at his eyes, too. He's like a clown, except a kangaroo. I am more than glad to get rid of these guys. I like how Bentley said this was a safer path. 
You're a liar, man. You're a liar. It's just the only accessible path. Wah! Well, I've got all types of pens, bronze, silver, and gold. What, you don't approve of this? All right, fine. I'll put you down. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, let's see if they can find you down in the cave, friend. 